the update number 139, page 76. She is appraising. As this data may not yet be available through typical data sources. For example, public records or multiple listing services. In this scenario, it is acceptable for the appraiser to verify the transaction of the comparable sale by viewing a copy of the HUD-1 settlement statement from the builder's file. When providing builder sales from competing projects that are not presently available through traditional data sources, the appraiser must verify the sale from the applicable HUD-1 and indicate on the appraisal report that the HUD-1 was the document utilized for verification. Additionally, the appraisal must include discussion and analysis of sales concessions and upgrades for the subject property relative to concessions and upgrades for each builder's sale. For special appraisal considerations regarding condo projects, CP4-1, period 4-03, condo appraisal requirements, and B4-2 project standards. Rural, rural properties. Rural, I can't say that fucking word. Rural properties. Rural properties often have large lot sizes. And rural locations can be relatively undeveloped. Therefore, there may be a shortage, a shortage or absence of recent <laughs> truly comparable sales in the immediate vicinity of the subject property that is in a rural location. Comparable sales located a considerable distance from the subject property can be used if they represent the best indicator of value for the subject property. In such cases, the appraiser must use his or her knowledge of the area and apply good judgment in selecting comparable sales that are the best indicators of value. The appraisal must include an explanation of why the particular comparables were selected use of foreclosures and short sales it is acceptable to use foreclosures and short sales as comparables if the appraiser believes they are the best and most appropriate sales available the appraiser must address in the appraisal report the prevalence of such sales in the subject's neighborhood and the impact, if any, of such sales. The appraiser must identify and consider any differences from the subject property, such as the condition of the property and whether any stigma has been associated with it. The appraiser cannot assume it is equal to the subject property. For example, a foreclosure or short sale property may be in worse condition when compared to the subject property, especially if the subject property is new construction or was recently renovated. For appraisals that are required to be UAD compliant, the appraiser must identify the sale type as REO sale or short sale as appropriate. For specific information regarding comparable sale adjustments, CB4-1 period 3-09, adjustments to comparable sales, and for information regarding financing types, see Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac uniform appraisal data set specification, Appendix D, field specific station requirements. Page 77. Related announcements. The table below provides references to the announcements that have been issued that are related to this topic. <laughs> Announcement SEL 2014 03. I'm not going to go through all that. B4 1 period 3 09. Adjustments to comparable sales April 15, 2014. Introduction. This topic contains details on selected adjustments to the comparable sales, including analysis of adjustments, sales or financing concessions, 
date of sale and time adjustments, uh, appraiser's comments, and indicated value in the sales comparison approach. <sighs> Analysis of adjustments, the net and gross percentage adjustments to a comparable sale being in excess of 15% and 25% respectively may be considered as a general indicator of the comparability of a property. However, they are not necessarily indicative of the accuracy of the adjustments. The number and slash or amount of the dollar adjustments must not be the sole determinant in the acceptability of the comparable. It is acceptable for a comparable to have adjustments in excess of uh, 15% net and 25% gross provided the appraiser explains why it was necessary to exceed those parameters. It is unacceptable for an appraiser to not provide the proper amount of adjustment. For instance, under dash adjusts just to remain within the 50% to and 25% parameters.